Hey everybody, it's Kayvon, the most famous half Persian comedian in the world. I thought I would take this time to address a viral video that's taking the world by storm right now. Did you see this? Can you believe the racism? Check it out. In the nation's capital, here's the video sparking outrage on social media right now. Nathan Phillips was beating his drum and singing an American Indian protest song. That's pretty bad, right? I mean, why would a kid stand right in front of a poor Native American man who's simply trying to play his drums? Well, sadly, with a lot of these viral videos the media gives to us, that's not the whole story. These four gentlemen were speaking out in the public, which is allowed. Of course, they're in the Washington DC mall overlooking the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Memorial right there in the middle. And they are saying things including, Before you started worshiping totem poles, you was worshiping the true living God. That's right. And this is the reason why this land was taken away from you. Indian means savage, brother. Uh-oh, that wasn't the white kids, that was uh, the black dudes directing that at the Native Americans. So now they've got the attention they wanted. The students are coming over now to see what is this commotion all about? And then the real racism begins. Don't don't stand to the side and mock. Bring y'all crack ass up here and make a and, and make a statement. You little dirty ass crackers, your day coming. Your day coming. Cause you little dusty asses wouldn't walk down the street in a black neighborhood and go walk up on nobody playing no games like that. Yeah, I will stick my foot in your little ass. And we can give a hell about your police. Being child molesters and getting away That's with That's right. You've been raping child children since 1492. That's right. That's right. And most of us can't your, even vote. Your president is a homosexual. Oh, no. <laughs> your college degrees was paid off of the bloodshed of slavery. Your houses, your, your mortgages, everything your parents own. The students were accused of being white and racist until they pointed out to defend themselves they had a few black people there with them. Oh, they're gonna call them. One black man. They're gonna call yeah, one black man. Y'all got, yes, got one nigga in the crowd, huh? In the crowd. One nigga, huh? I got one nigga in the crowd. Oh, you got two niggas in the crowd. Get out. You ain't seen a movie? Why you being mean? Get out. That's right. They decided to do some of their school chants. <laughs> So now you're informed of what happened up until the point that they started showing us the video. Here comes a Native American elder, Mr. Philip, hitting his drum, marching directly towards only one group. He's not keeping the peace between the two. He's decided who the enemy is. The kids with the hat. Here come Gad! Here come Gad! Here come Gad! Look, look at our Make America Great Again hats! Look at the hats! Look at the hats! We ain't taking. And this was on Friday on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial when he saw a clash erupting between a group of teenage students and four African American young men preaching about the Bible and oppression. Preaching about the Bible and oppression? This is a bunch of future school shooters. That's right. A bunch of future school shooters. That's right. CNN had this clip I'm watching. Why didn't they tell you about it? Well, Philip says. He immediately sensed danger. When I was there and I was standing there and I seen that group of people in front of me and I seen the angry faces and, and all of that, I, I realized I had put myself in a really dangerous situation. What you say? You believe America will be great again? Young Klansmen? Go ahead. Look at your clothes. Here is a group of people who were angry at somebody else and I put myself in front of that, and all of a sudden, I'm the one who's all that anger and all that wanting to have the freedom to just 
ripped me apart. This, this is a faggot child molester. CNN's Sarah Seidner asked Phillips what bothered him the most about Friday's confrontation. Fear where this country's going. Yeah, we all share those fears, Mr. Phillip. I think you just picked the wrong aggressor. Fear for their, those youths. Fear for their future. Fear for their souls, their spirit, their they're what they're going to do to this country. What they were doing wasn't making America great. It was just tearing down the fabric. Christ is coming back to kick your crackers ass. Right. Listen to him because you might lose your scholarship. Turns out he might be right. The school gave no support or no benefit of the doubt to the children. They just simply said, we are against everything they did. But you judge us by your penal code system. We don't judge you. You don't judge us by the law of God. How you don't, how you don't judge, you got judges, man. How you don't judge us. I'm a Vietnam Times veteran and, and I know that mentality of there's enough of us. We can do this. Now the media didn't tell you after the drumming incident, it continued going on for about another 45 minutes. This is what happened next. Duly elected Congresswoman Deb Holland is among the first Native Americans elected to Congress and she reacted on Twitter writing, this veteran put his life on the line for our country. The students display a blatant hate, disrespect and intolerance is a signal of how common decency has decayed under this administration. We love you. Okay. We love you. Okay. We love all if you love us, give us our land back. That's right. Okay, then you don't love us. So, so if you love us, let's let's see what the Bible says about love. Let's see what if you truly love us. Let's go to the Word of God and prove it. Prove if you love us. Did she take your land? She hurt. You are the descendants of your forefathers. You are, you, you, we, we are the descendants of slaves. And this is how it ended. They went home. Go home and understand America will burn. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how fake news works. You saw the sausage being made. Now, I don't have time to make one of these videos every single time this happens, so I need you to do your own research and always think before outrage. Check out my comedy tour dates.